Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our heavyweight co-featured attraction of the evening. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the blue corner, please welcome the former heavyweight champion of the world, Berman Stavern. Some fruit in juice, so I saw Junior come. They dare run me some music from me small, and me young me used to play family man bass, not call the jump. Any question that you ask, my man can answer me son, cause a me name Junior gone, who me tell no. The youngest veteran, who me tell no. Stand up for the minute, loving don't cause not a part, neither a cent. But should you spend the money, that the money well spent. And if you're big enough, judge a floating bread like a vent. Listen to the girls and me, a jelly talent. And I have been given enough, the serpent. Teach you to them loving, not violence. And from your ass, I love in my bag, you keep silent. And now here is the Olympic silver medalist and the undefeated heavyweight world contender known as the Juggernaut, introducing Joe Joy! Another man to the canvas A Joe Joyce hook, that's a madness Now your eye and your cheekbone fractured They're many boxers, they're actors Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the O2 Arena here in London, England, as at this time, Premier Boxing Champions presents a special attraction in our big night of boxing. This bow to the ring is brought to you by Park Sun Sports in association with Ring Star Sports and Don King Productions. Sponsored by 32 Red and Volterol. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, Supervisor Jose Oliver Gomez, along with the Commonwealth Boxing Council. Supervisor is Debbie Down. Introducing our three judges, all from the UK. 
from Doncaster, Michael Anderson, from Preston, Phil Edwards, and from Birmingham, Terry O'Connor. Presenting our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, we have Howard Foster. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBA Gold and Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with multicolor trim, of Canadian background, fighting out of Las Vegas and West Palm Beach, Florida, in the United States. He weighed in at 19 stones, 7 pounds, or 273 U.S. pounds. With a record of 25 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw, he has 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Berman Stavern. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing a black trunks, blue trim, hailing from Putney, London, England. He weighed in at 18 stone, 13 pounds, or 265 U.S. pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of seven wins, no losses. All seven wins coming by way of knockout. A 2016 Olympic silver medalist, ranked number five in the world by the WBA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated force of boxing's heavyweight division, known as the Juggernaut, introducing Joe Joyce. And once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Howard Foster. Okay, fellas, spoke to you both in the dressing room. You both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Here we go, round one, don't blink. Heavyweights, a little bit of pop. Joe Joyce on the right. Seven and oh, seven KOs. Women's Sturvain, Sturvain, I'll get his name right. Sturvain, the former WBC heavyweight champion. Joyce has a good left hook to the body. I'd like to see it right here. Test. Nice overhand right. Another overhand. <laughs> Severn trying to see if he could do something. He walks into some right hands. Another right hand. That's the burn. He keeps throwing that overhand right. Joyce. Joyce took the punch and dropped his hands. Not smart. Joyce should go to the body. There you go. Check out the rain. Severn, Severn's body. 273 pounds. Severn's got to let it go. He's got to let his hands go. The fact that he keeps getting, Joyce gets hit by the overhand right, which isn't that fast, kind of surprised me. Joyce coming in with the left jab, pile driver. The Vern keeps trying that overhand right over and over. Joyce trying to hit him with a jab and a right right behind it. I go to the left jab to the body. See if. Severn did any sit-ups. Good 
Good right hand by Joyce. So a punch to the body by Joyce, right hand. Joyce looks like he's going for the knockout. He needs to set it up. Just don't wing the punches. You see, Stavern isn't very quick on his feet. Still has a good punch, but he, Joyce got to watch that overhand right. It seems like the only thing that Stavern's throwing. She tries it again. And a left hook. They see Stavern with the right, threw a bunch of those. Kept catching him with that, with that overhand right. It's a nice one-two by Joyce right down the middle. I think Joyce made that round a little more difficult than it should have been. And if you're his people, you don't want to see him getting caught by overhand rights. Very, very good. Just make sure we go outside, outside, then back inside, all right? Keep pounding on top. The body, I'd say three up top, one on the body, okay? I want to see the top shots. I want to see him open up his hands and drop and raise his hands up so we can go down here. Here we go at round two, scheduled for 12. Familiar man working Joy Joyce's corner. Abel Sanchez, trainer for Triple G. Renati Golovkin. Jones, Joyce letting his hands fly. Stavern still throwing that overhand right. And he's getting hit with a left. Stavern still has something in the tank, at least early. He's reached Joyce with the overhand right and a left. Joyce it. All right, wobbled him there. Joyce has to be careful. He may be 40 years old and coming off a first round knockout against Delonte Wilder, but you can't take chances. Set your punches up and step back. More body work would be good too. Joyce letting his hands fly. Still would like to see Joyce throw a left hook to his body. Laverne got an ample body. Throw a left hook there. But you're letting him come towards you. Oh, good left hook by Joyce. That, that could be a game changer right there. Referee looking close. Severn trying to throw back. He looks like he's got one last right hand in him. Uppercut by Joyce. Good right hand, good uppercut again. Joyce just letting his hands go and staying just enough outside to do damage. Missed with the big uppercut. You don't want the youngster to burn himself out. Joyce just missed with a big right hand. Laverne taking a lot of punches. Good right hand. That staggered him again. Left hook by Joyce trying to end the show with 24 seconds to go here in the second round. Schedule 12. Straight right hand might do the trick. No footwork by Stavern. He's getting popped. Good round for Joe Joyce. I be.
Breathe, get it back. Come on, you all right? There you see the action in the last round. Joyce wobbled him twice. I, I gave that a 10-8 round because he wobbled him twice. There you see good left, and then Joyce comes back with the uppercut. All his punches were working. Good right hands. The referee at one point was looking like he was going to stop it. Because Joyce was just letting his hands go. He Everything was, was it right back. landing. Just don't be taking it. You got to give it right back, baby. More water. You got to give it up, man. You got to keep on. Don't get too carried away. Just make sure that they land. Here we go, round number three, the scheduled 12 round fight, British heavyweight Commonwealth Championship. Joe Joyce in the blue trunks. Berman Stavern on the right getting beat up in the black trunks. Oh, nice right hand. The ref, the rubs kept him up, kept him up. That should be a knockdown. And it is. Just about coming to the end of this fight, I think. I think for his own safety, the referee should stop it. I don't think. I don't know. The Vern's trying everything he's got left, but his mouth is open, breathing heavy. You don't want to see the guy take too much punishment, and he's taking a lot right now. There's a towel on the upper rope. I think that's for the cameraman. Maybe he should toss it in there. Severn not moving. He's trying to just see if he... Oh, another left hook by Joe Joyce. Still like to see Joyce go to the body. Severn's 273 heaviest. Doesn't look... Doesn't look in shape. So go to the body. See what happens. Vern taking a lot of punishment. Watch the right hand by Joyce. Man, a good left hook. Joyce just letting his hands go now. He's got range and he got a slow opponent in front of him. Nice one-two by Joyce. Vern getting popped now. Watch his overhand right. That's the only punch he's had limited success. It landed early in the first round. Here he just tries it again. Nice right hand by Joyce. Vern's mouth wide open. Sucking wind already. Now that was a bolo punch thrown underwater. Very slow. But Severn not letting his hands go. He's just got throwing one punch at a time. He looks gassed already. You gotta stop putting punches together, baby. You gotta put your punches together for me, okay? All right? There you see the work that Joyce is doing against the ropes, just pounding. Severn gets. Gets a good right hand. Caught him right on the jaw. The ropes held him up. That counts as the knockdown. And you see. You see. Stavern just not wasn't paying attention there. Looking the wrong way and got caught. That's how you get hurt. That's how you wonder, is he really in this, this fight? This is some basics. He's coming to you. So you slip and turn that thing under. Go over in the under. All right? Go over here, baby. Here we go, round number four. Good round for Joe Joyce in that last round. Hit Stavern with a good right hand. Stavern fell into the ropes. Referee Howard Foster called it a knockdown, which was correct. 
And now I'd like to see Joyce just get it out of it. This isn't pleasant to watch. Taverna Good. One of, not one of the great champs, but he was a champ. But if you stick around too long, you give him a chance to get that one lucky shot. He does have 21 knockouts in his 25 victories. Joyce, seven for seven. Scheduled 12 round fight. Joyce has never gone 12, though he did have a fight scheduled for 12. Pro debut was a 10 rounder that went eight. One thing about Joyce, he takes his time, very methodical, nice little short right hand. Laverne taking more and more punches now. Joyce just keeps head hunting. Nice one, two. You see Stavern just waiting for that one overhand right, the one punch he seems to be able to reach Joyce with. You think Joyce would let his hands go. Joyce, yes, this one, an uppercut. Joyce, very upright fighter. There's a body shot. He needs to step back at some range. Uppercut would do some damage because Stavern's leaning forward when he gets off the ropes. Just taking punches, not fighting back. Joyce throwing more punches, a little more active here in his fourth round. Coming to the end of round four. There you see the main event fighter, the Shoe Bank Junior. Just get to see a nice entourage. How come I don't have an entourage like that? And there's James Seagal. He's watching himself on TV, that's always nice. Do you have the smaller dressing room? Do you have the smaller entourage? Here we go, round number five. Joe Joyce, black and blue trunks. Furman Stavern in the multicolored trunks. And his hair tied up. Joyce been backing up Stavern here. Oh, nice left hook by Joe. Maybe this is the round he tries to put him away. The 33-year-old chopping down the 40-year-old. Takes a good punch. Though he's been wobbled into the ropes in the second round. Keeps throwing that one overhand right. Joyce needs to get him out of there because Stavern gets lucky with that overhand right. Everything goes down the drain. Lincoln 
must have earned work. Oh, I haven't seen this since the amateur days. Tell the corner to shut up. Oh man, he's doing that bolo punch gets caught. Stop joking around and deal with what you got to deal with. There you go. He's letting his hands go again. He's got, got him in the corner. Severn's right there. I'm sure here comes the overhand right again. Joe Joyce trying to get that one shot in there. Still think if he uses a body shot to set up a right hand later, could catch him with an uppercut because Severn's coming forward plotting. Severn's got his hands down. He's taking shots. Mouth's open. Oh, Joe Joyce. Coming to the end of round number five, scheduled for 12. They see Stavern living against the ropes, paying for it. Body work by Joyce, left hook, left to the body, uppercut. Lead right hand. I think he'd come right back with another shot. Good work, That's exactly what I was looking for. That's the kind of guy that you, you can pound on. But let's just be more consistent with the shots. Deep breath. See you double that jab through the right hand. Do something different, all right? <laughs> double that jab, throw that right hand, baby. Double that jab, throw that right hand, man. <laughs> Here we go at round number six. I would like to see Joe Joyce just be a little more active. I know he's got a 12 round fight ahead of him, but you're in control. And you've got a fighter in Stavern who's just throwing like one punch at a time. Hasn't thrown the overhand right in a while. Not moving on his feet, he's just living against the rope, so you should be pounding him. The burn looks tired, even though he hasn't thrown a lot of punches. Joyce working the jab. He should let his hands go. Burn with a good left for that. Try that overhand right again. Funny how the referee was looking to almost stop it at one point. Joe let him back in the ring. Look back in the fight. Good left hook. Both guys try to throw left hook. The burn tried that overhand right again. Waiting for Joyce to let his hands go, but I think that's the speed that he throws his punches. I don't think there's a second gear. You should put more pressure on him by just throwing punches. Work the body. Severn came in at 273, the highest he's ever weighed. You know, he's got to keep getting hit with that overhand right. He's got to take him out of there. There's a nice one, too. Wobbled him a little bit. Try the uppercut. There you go. He's just sitting there. There you go. Then he finally stopped it. Good job by the referee. 
To be honest, I didn't want to see anymore. Don't like to see fighters just get beat up when they're out class. Joe Joyce, he has a ways to go. He's still learning his craft. It was only his eighth fight. It's 33. They need to fast, fast track him, though. But he's accurate in his pass, his, his punches. Stavarn cut on the lip. Just what, just what concerned me is, is Stavarn is, is slow. He's not doesn't have the speed from years ago. Does have the power. He was able to reach him with that overhand right, and I think whoever fights him next, whoever fights Joe Joyce next, they're gonna look at the tape of this and say he's susceptible to the overhand right. So he's got to work on that in camp. But he throws punches. Didn't seem to be tired. He took a good shot from from uh, Stavern, who, like I said, has 21 KOs in 25 fights. But it was he got hit a little bit too often for for me. I just didn't want to see that in a, in a fighter. And here he is coming to the end. Just let, finally let his hands go. And I understand you don't want to take that chance in the first round, but see, everything was landing at that point. And the referee did the right, the right thing. There's no chance, no, no, no sense of him getting beat up. And there's that uppercut I was telling you about. Brings the left hand over. Then he threw a, uh, uh, I think it was waiting for him to go down right there. He threw the right hand. And all the punches were landing flush. It just, it, it's, he's not fighting back. The only shot he had was that overhand right, and that wasn't doing any good. And the referee, Howard Foster did the right thing. Didn't want to see any more punishment because he still had a long way to go. That was just the sixth round. It was scheduled for 12. Joe Juggernaut Joyce, now the Commonwealth Heavyweight Champ of Britain. WBA number five in the ranking. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes 20 seconds in round number six. A referee in charge, Howard Foster, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. And now, the WBA gold and Commonwealth heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, yep. Joe Joyce.